In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply for a patent application using our online filing platform, WiperFile. The first requirement to file a patent application using WiperFile is a WiperFile account. If you do not have a WiperFile account, you can email us at info at ipo.gov.tt. You can also check out our tutorial on how to request and complete the registration process for a WIPO file account. So I'll commence this tutorial by logging in to my WIPO file account. Once logged in, the first screen you will see is the workbench. The first step requires you to hover over submission in the menu to the top and select patent. Once selected, it takes us to the patent application web page. Right, the first step is to select the application type. There are five options. The first four relates to patents, and the fifth option is a utility certificate. You would select the option that is relevant to your application. For demonstration purposes, we will be using PCT Chapter 2. We will now enter the primary title, since this is just a test, we will use pattern test. Now we will enter the abstract. Next, the number of claims for the patent application. For demo purposes, I'll just put two but you would put the relevant amount. Page count, I'll simply put five, but you would put, once again, the relevant number of pages. For the main drawing, you simply click on Choose File and you upload an image of the main drawing. All right, please note that the image must be of JPEG format or BMP format. Once selected, you simply click Add and you would see a small preview of your drawing. Next step requires us to enter our applicant and inventor details. We simply click on add applicant and for demo purposes, we'll simply be adding in the mandatory fields only. Select the country as well as the nationality and enter the full number info and for zip code we can simply use five zeros once completed we can either hit save which will save the applicant and prompt another window to enter another applicant or we can hit save and close which will close the window and end the process of entering applicants or inventors. If you wish to have this applicant as an inventor as well, we can simply tick this checkbox to copy as inventor. And we can click save and close. Once completed, we would see the information appearing in this table below. We can also, if we want, proceed to add more applicants by simply clicking here, add applicant and fill out the information and we can do the same for add inventor. So for demonstration purposes, I'll quickly add another inventor. Hit save and close and as you can see, this record that has been entered only has a check mark under the inventor color. We can also delete information we have added by simply ticking this checkbox here and we click on delete selected. You will get a prompt to confirm the deletion. Click yes and as you can see that record has been deleted. The next step will be to add representative or your agent. This information would be already completed 
detailed information you filled out while registering for your Y profile account. So we'll simply click save and close. Next, we have priority details. Not all applications may require this, but if it does, we simply select the country from which the priority will be coming from. We put the number as well, as well as selecting the relevant filing date. And for uploading documents, we have a number of options we can upload. Authorization of agent. If it's a divisional patent, we can upload the letter to indicate such. And for PCT applications, it is mandatory for the PCT publication page to be uploaded. Since we selected PCT, we'll be uploading this. So we select PCT publication page, and we choose file, our patent pub page, and we save and close. If we wish to attach other documents, we can simply click attach, select the relevant document we would like to attach, and then choose the file. But we would not be adding any further documents. Once completed, we have a number of options. We can validate the application, we can save the application, or we can submit the application. Save any application allows it to save it as a draft and we can leave wipe profile and come back in the future to edit the application before submitting. Validate application allows us to ensure all the information was entered correctly. And once you click on validate, as you can see, inventor details, email cannot be empty, representative details, zip code cannot be empty. So we will proceed to correct those. So the first one, in fact, we will click on the pencil to edit the information. And we must have an email. So we'll put an email, save and close. And for the representative, we'll click the pencil icon under this table. And uh, the zip code is missing. We'll put that information, save and close. All right, if we validate the application again, we can see application is successfully validated and can be submitted. Clicking save application allows for the application to be saved. And as I said, we can come back to edit it in the future. And as we can see, application draft successfully was saved. All right, and if we click on Workbench, because the application is saved, we can see that it has been saved here and the status of it is draft. If we would like to edit, we simply click on the wiper file number. And as you can see, it opened back the application. And we can also delete this application if we like. Now I'll simply click on the button to demonstrate submitting the application. And as you can see, the application submitted successfully. We click OK. It takes us back to the workbench. And as you can see, pattern test status says submitted. And that's it. That's all you need to do to use Y profile to apply for your patent.